we are going to use Komodo. If it is not sitting in your toolbar at the bottom, F4, Komodo, and you see a stylized Komodo dragon. Go ahead and launch it. And it will come up with this basic screen. If you're on your personal computer, uh, you will need to install Komodo. And I have up in the assignment, uh, in the notes, I provide the link on how to do it. Unless you're wanting to spend money, just get Komodo Edit. Do not get the Komodo IDE. Komodo IDE is sweet, but it costs money. And I'm after cheap. And there's a lot of open source tools out there that are really good. So check them out before you go and pay for something. Unless you're working someplace and your employer's paying for it. I will say that some of the commercial ones are fantastic. But okay. We'll come up to this screen. We're going to go to File, New, File from Template. We're going to make life easier. When it comes up, we're going to go, you can click on Web, HTML5. Then click Local. And we're going to go to Desktop, Week 9 in Class. We wanted to create the file in the Week 9 in Class folder. And then for file name, it is going to be called index.html. Index.html is, for web browsers, a kind of a magical file name. They look for files called index.html and display them. So your first file or your main file or your home page in your folder should be called index.html. Secondary pages could be another name. And we will create others and we will use other names. But your main page should be called index.html or index.htm. So we've got web, HTML5, local, set it to our week nine in class. Future assignments, of course, we'll pick other folders. And then file name index.html. And click open. It will then create for you a very basic but proper web page. Now this web page isn't going to display anything. It's empty. It's really only missing uh, one line, which you should make sure you add to it. And that is going to be a meta char set equals utf-8 and closed. You will find in some instructions where they give more than uh, they'll give a doc type in that, but really this is the minimum you need for it. At this point, you have a basic and correct web page. I'm going to take you through all the parts. Now, it should be review, but we're going to go through it. Doc type HTML. And this is not an actual HTML statement. This must exist at the very top of the web page. It is telling the browser what type of file it's reading. Because the browser can open many different types of files. So HTML, it just by itself, it knows when it sees this, we are talking about an HTML5 file. Tell the browser up front, now it knows what to do with it. Your actual HTML code exists exclusively between the HTML tags. The first one is an open tag. The one at the very bottom that has got a leading slash is called a closed tag. All of your HTML code will exist between these two, and you must have both the start and the finish. Mandatory. The next piece we've got within it is our head. Now this is the 
head of the HTML document. Remember, this document is read by the computer. The computer then takes it and displays something. So this is the head of the HTML document read by the computer, not the head of the web page it generates. This is a common point of confusion where it's like, oh, this is the head of the document. Well, no, really it's not. It's the head for the computer. So what we're doing is we're telling the computer information about the web page. Nothing in here is truly displayed. Title. Inside the head. Title required. This is the title of the web page. This is what will be displayed on the tab in your browser. If you're dealing with a really ancient browser that doesn't support tabs, it displayed it at the top of the, of the browser window. That is the only place it is displayed. Okay, so it's just basically this is the name of the web page. Should be descriptive. So we're going to give it a descriptive name called first web page. Since this is our first one to create this class. After that, we have the meta line that we just put in. You may also find, and, and later on, we will put links in here. This is where we'll link our CSS. So we'll put the link lines in here. Uh, we might put script, which is going to be for JavaScript. Uh, all of that will go inside the head. But we don't have any display content up here. We close out the head. We open the body. The body contains the contents of your web page. This is where what you see in your browser goes. There is nothing between the close of the head and the open of the body. So inside the body is where your content is going to go. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create here an actual web page, but for right now we're going to create a really simple one and open up in the browser so we can see it. Then we'll come back in here and we'll put real content in and flow it with a little bit more complex after break. So let's go ahead and let's put an H1 tag and we'll say um, sample web page. That's our header level one header. Uh, we have for headers, there's six different levels of headers. Um, and I will talk more about headers here in a bit. We'll go ahead and use a P tag, which is a paragraph. And very simple web page, period. Okay. So we're just putting our content in here. Moving down the content, we close out the body. Notice I have not talked about the, the structure of the web page yet. Any structure, when we talk about like the head of a web page, the header in the web page, the footers in the web page, the body of the web page, all of that exists here with inside the body tag. Very last line, we close out the body tag, we close out the HTML, there should be nothing in between them. Nothing goes in here. This is complete. So, let's save it. File save. And let's go ahead and we'll switch to Firefox. And I like to use Command O for open. Desktop week nine in class index.html. Open it, and we should see sample web page. This is a very simple web page. Exactly what we typed. And if you look here on the top of the tab, you will see the line that says first web page. It's complete. Header, large, paragraph, small.
Now, because we are following good practice here, we're going to verify it. Let's go to Tools. Go clear down to the bottom where it says Validate Local HTML. Click it. And it should come back. And if you typed everything correct, it should validate as an HTML5 document. <coughs> this one warning you can pass. Uh, basically, it's dealing with the fact that it's HTML5 in the validator.